we're there. Welcome, thank you. Welcome, thank you. Okay. Ah, you ready? Let's uh, let's stand for a moment, okay? Ah, settling, settling. Now, first there's, oh yes, I understand settle. There is an idea, idea. Good. Now, the actual of settling, ah, being more here, ah, beginning to breathe a little clearer. Feeling, feeling here, 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 feeling here. As I look around, I think, oh yes, I see I'm here. That's idea looking. Experience here, experience here. Now that should be pretty easy, but on some days, or there are two beats of energy we're using an up and down and some days the upbeat is quite strong for example we won't worry about the down flow of things right now uh, so being present and settling a bit is easy except those days where the upflow of energies could be quite strong uh, so when you begin to settle and you feel like a little bit pushed, that's those energies on the move. As you settle, you're getting closer to those energies and they can push you quite strong. Okay, easy. Uh, so knowing that, I don't, let's say it's a very strong upflow here. I don't wanna enter a very strong upflow in my idea, so small. And those energies will push that little idea, and it's like a windmill. It'll spin faster and faster and faster. Uh, so easy, easy the eye. It settles. It's part of settling. Uh, know if there's a strong push to be open before you stand in it. I sometimes, as for fun, I step out of it. Not that you really can. It's going on all over, but... I step out of it, I settle and I open a bit, and being more open, I step back in this flow. The energies wanna just mix up. So here, this up and down, a, a red and blue, uh, they're just, let's call the upflow red, just, just a gist of. It flows up and down. And in that mix of those two energies flowing, it mixes up a better character you. Oh, I feel a little more present. I feel a little stronger, uh, almost capable. Not quite capable, but almost capable. Easy, settle, open some more so that more energies can flow up and down. And they mix up, uh, creating, mixing up a better character you, a better character you, okay? Now, if you go to think about that character or come over here to the eye and look at it, it's not quite right. So in this character, two energies, so one will be uh, more masculine, the other will be more feminine, uh, whichever way for you. I happen to use an up he and a down she, but whatever for you, your, your choice, as long as you're consistent, oh, sensei would say. Ah, as those two energies flow up and down, there's a balance with the two. And as they balance, that feels pretty good to me. That's when they mix and breed a character, easy. I, character I am. I'm beginning to feel more, feel this being more squared away. I am more squared away. So there's a I to self I. I, I am, I am more present. Okay? Uh, where are we? Take a break for a moment I figure out where I am. Okay. <clears throat> This 
<clears throat> excuse me, upsurge of energy. Again, some days it's a down. You just feel like settling down and down. Fine, we'll talk about that later. Here I'm talking about an upsurge. A uh, couple of stories. Uh, in my meditation days, when I was doing that style, <clears throat> one day I was sitting, settling, and it felt like I had insects crawling all around me. I would have bet money. I knew there weren't. I knew it was something to do with my meditation, but I would have bet money there were insects crawling on me. That's that upflow of energy, my reaction to it. Okay, I get a little antsy. <sighs> okay, so far. Another time uh, I was sitting, did I tell the story before? I was sitting and I'm in a meditation space now and my visual there and my sense feeling is I'm in a snake pit and snakes are biting me. I could sort of feel them, bing, bing, bing. It's like, ah, I don't care for snakes that much. Uh, and they were biting me. I thought, wait a minute, I'm in a meditation place. Gutsy it out, hang out. Let's see what the hell this is about. Okay. As I settled some more, continuing to open in my meditation space, that's an inner, finer sense, uh, the snakes soon started to smile. There was a smile on their face and they weren't biting me anymore. I thought, aha, the game is afoot. And I continued to settle and open. And very deep was this beautiful lady and she would flick her arms. And these coils would come up. They weren't snakes now, they were coils of energy. Bing, coils of energy would come up. Okay, so this feminine source, uh, showing that the energies were, uh, came from this beautiful lady, therefore I felt, hey, they're beneficial somehow. I've got to hang with that. So to go from being bitten by snakes to they're smiling, there's a joke around here someplace, to this, this beautiful thing happening, these, these beautiful swirls of energy. Uh, same stuff, but at a higher level, standing here, uh, I'm being nipped at by snakes. Easy better dimension, better level, and they're not so negative. Easy, settle deeper, better level, and they're starting to show their truer nature, some kind of life energy. Okay, you following these stories? Uh, so, when you first begin to settle, uh, standing again, when you first begin to settle, you may be settling into a very strong push. Again, some days are, it's downtime, it beats, right? Uh, so we won't worry or talk about the downtime now. Just you start to settle and there's a lot of energy coming up. <sighs> Don't be tight in the mind because that energy comes through like a rocket shooting right through that eye, spins it like a windmill. We start thinking more and more and more and more. Part of the settling is easy that I, ah, self, self. And some people catch when they're doing a good job of being present because this uh, mental spin, the thinking, 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 slows down and stops. And that's their clue that they're more present, okay? If you're feeling things shoot through you like a rocket, you haven't opened enough. Again, you could step out of it, open a bit, and then step back into it. Uh, where the energies don't want to shoot through you, they want to mix up through you and mix up a better character. Yeah? Ah, better character you. Okay? Oh, Sente implied, said, uh, this word character is very important. So uh, we'll uh, 
in the long run continue to, to use it. So anytime you get two energies, we're keeping it just to this uh, physical body character. We're not talking about the world you're in. Uh, so we're just talking about this part of it right now. As those energies move up and down, mixing up a better character, take resonance character I am, be present. Okay, and we have a character, certain level, fairly strong character, fairly efficient character. Okay, so anyway, keep the word character in mind. Uh, let's see, uh, Katja, let me bore you a moment. <clears throat> to go over again, the idea, the idea of it. Uh, bah, bah. Okay, uh, choke it, wait, wait. You can touch, but don't do anything yet. <laughs> I'm not ready. <laughs> let me see. Okay, centered, settled, present. Now, to check that, it's an idea. Uh, if, if it is an idea, I've got this idea of me really being here. Go ahead and be tight. Go ahead, push. Come on. That's an idea. That's an idea. As it starts to be actual, here, here, same push. Okay. Now it's starting to break down. Okay, good. Settle, more present or centered, ah, here, an actual, this is an actual, <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay, she's not trying to bug me, uh, this should be like Ai Aikido, where we mutually help each other, she's giving me some reference so I can tell the difference between an idea and the actual, this is some degree of actual, okay? Now she's starting to break me. Oh, it's okay. Not I business. The system is now playing the game and the system will mix up a little color. It feels a little deeper, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right? Uh, so it's not my eyes, responsibility, so, uh, if people go into this, they're misunderstanding. We're not doing that. We're, she's bugging me. She's bugging me. So that, again, just shut up. So that the system can mix up. A, the system is now playing the game, wants to play the game. Oh, we're playing this game. And system will settle more, fill itself out, get a little heavier. It's systems game. If I break, take it personal, it's systems job, not I's job. I, easy, open, and system is playing the game. System. <laughs> okay. Did I say anything intelligent there? <sighs> the I, uh, takes responsibility for everything. Once the eye catches how this works, easy the eye, and you'll catch how the system works, how it balances its own energy or allows that balance to go on, and it will incrementally improve. That's built into the system. It's like it wants to improve, not just I want to improve. The system itself wants to improve, okay? So once you start playing the game, it's the system's game, not I, not I gotta control this game. Am I saying that okay? Is that coming across? Uh, if I may, yeah. I wonder if you would have anything to say to, let's say the newer people, if they're wondering at all, what do you mean by system? Is there anything you could add to help? Uh, bring it? What I mean by what? System. System. When you I use it. I, I, I forgot how I use that word. Tell me. 
I, I, I'm wondering myself how I would explain it to someone who was new. <laughs> okay. Uh, did I mean the mix of the character system? The system. Uh, just the whole universe works a certain way. So it's a system. We just brought it down a little smaller to start simple for you. Uh, how the system works is when there is a problem, the system, oh, tries to equalize with the problem. It's a natural functioning system, uh, the harmony of the whole universe. We're just showing you a little piece of it to get you started, okay? So in this case, uh, let's see if I missed anything here. So we're just trying to explain a big law with a dumb practice, okay? Uh, so the game is, first I want to show when an eye is doing it, it doesn't work very well. Easy the eye, open up so the energies can mix, and the energies know what the game is now. They're mixing a little heavier, okay? But still starting to break, not my problem. It's how things work problem. And how things work is they'll mix up better to be better here. Okay? Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, it's throughout the whole system. If you've got a bunch of uh, wheat, wheat plant, wheat plant, I don't know if you say plants, wheat, and there's a cold winter, some of the wheat will die. And those that are left alive will say, oh, good grief, we better do something. So next year, if it's cold, we can withstand the cold. That's built into the system. If a herd of zebras are getting decimated because they're suddenly, for whatever reason, a little slower, and the lions are a little faster, it won't be long before the zebras breed faster running zebras. It'll happen. It may take those guys 100, 200, 1,000 years, but it's going to happen. We can pick up the pace here. We don't need 1,000 years unless we're really dumb. <laughs> okay, human condition, really dumb. Uh, we can trigger this because the I is part of this I to self, to truer self. And so we can work with this really fast, okay? Uh, animals and plants and stuff may need generation after generation after generation to get a little bit better, okay? And even they'd be lim limited. Uh, but the, because the self, true self is here, uh, we can access this and have this happen much, much better. Phew. Okay, don't want to get into the big, big picture yet too much. All right, settling. So again, recognize that there's a strong push, okay? When you're really on edge or being, uh, you're, you're being pushed. Recognize that so when you start to settle to open up, take your time and do the best you can to open up so that the energies can flow through and mix, or since I would call it rebreed your, no, recreate yourself, okay? Recreate yourself. I'm gonna keep it simple, so I say mix yourself up anew. Uh, rebreed yourself, maybe could be a word, but you got the sense of it, because the forces are, uh, are he, she type things. Uh, they'll breed. It was set up that way, okay? Uh, to create the, uh, God, I'm going into the big picture. I don't want to go there. To create creation, it needed, pre-creation needed to separate into two to create a creation. So sex has been going on since day one, and we're part of it, boy, girl, or whatever. Okay? Ah, so, okay. Another trick in dealing with uh, strong upsurges is to, there's a calmness potential here. Okay, so you settle, calm. Okay. 
Now, understand the difference. If you're nervous, I'm not telling you to be calm, because if you're nervous, trying to get Mr. Nervous to be calm is an endless fight. I'm saying there is calmness here. Easy. Play the game. There is calmness here. Easy. Settle into calmness. As if a little field of calmness is here. If you check your eye, you're probably, but I'm still nervous. Well, yes, of course you are. I'm not talking to you yet. There is, okay, an example story. Let's say that you're hmm, cold, you're shivering. Okay. Now, for that person, I got to get hot. It's a little hard because I'm cold and shivering. But if there's a hot tub here, and I step into the hot tub, sit in the hot tub, soak in the hot tub, then I can partake of heat. Okay. So kind of similar with the calm. Don't try to get the nervous one calm. I'm nervous, but there is calm. Here, here, calm. And as I settle into the calm, it may then begin to affect the nervous eye, or better yet, the nervous eye in this pool of calm changes levels of himself. We call that dimensional change. It's a different dimension. Or it's not nervous Bobby anymore, it's semi-cool Robert. That's a dimensional change. So this calmness can be used as a tool, a vehicle, if you would. So calm, settling, calmer. I'm not talking, I got to get calmer. I'm saying this next level shows itself calmer. Again, I'm just doing for a moment. If you want to play with this, really, you got to spend a lot of 15 minutes, 20 minutes, a half an hour, an hour of uh, playing with calm and get the sense when it changes into a little bit deeper. The sense may be bigger. It may sense a little darker, smoother, calm. Going through a few levels of calm, then if you feel around the energies at the third level are much nicer. So those that were spearing up at me or snakes that were coming at me, using the calm, calm, calm. Then if I wanna check around and see what's being mixed, the energies are at a finer level, therefore they're benign. Okay, it's not spears thrusting up or snakes biting me or ants crawling all over my body. Uh, I mean, story. I was playing with this the other day just to warm up for tonight, uh, playing a little bit with the uh, calm. And first, and I started with spears, because that's one way in my early meditation, I bumped into this up thrusting, up flowing energies. It'd be like sitting on a spear. Ah, horrible. Okay. But again, I knew I was in a meditation space, so I continued on with it. The other day I ran through that. Okay, let me feel it like spears. And as I used the calm to get to another level, Again, I'm going fast now, okay? Calm to get to another level. That that was a spear was a cane. A cane? As I hung out with that level of it, uh, it there was a sense of support. The cane would support me, as, as I could use one now. <laughs> okay. uh, if... Uh, Okay, different story. As I continued, next level, calm, calmer, deeper. Next level, it was a candy cane. 
I could even smell the, the, the sweetness. And there's a, as I hung out with it, there's a touch of sweet nourishment. It's really nice. Okay, so what I did was use calm to get past the spears and all the different ah stuff till I got to a certain level. I would use three levels, whatever the count is in your case, but more than one. And then I move out of the call to feel what's being mixed and be that the character that's being mixed. Okay, so a trick of the trade, yeah, of dealing with strong upflows. Uh, where should we go? The eye, the eye. Again, the eye takes a lot of responsibility. Uh, when it's okay to start with the eye, of course, you have an idea. Uh, I want to be more, oh, let's try centered. I would like to be centered. Okay, easy. And here, but because I'm still the uncentered one, for me to uncentered, try to get centered is a big fight. It takes too long, okay? There is a center here. There is a center. I'm not saying I'm centered. There is a center. And as I hang out with it, it begins to show more here. It, I can start to feel it. How do I feel it? I feel the straightening trying to go on. Easy. There is a center. There is a center. It feels a bit deeper. I, remember, I'm fast, so you all could take your time when you do this later. Uh, there is a center, and I just let it show itself. Boom. It feels like it's made of steel, so it's really strong. And there's a little sense that it's bolted down there. It's really distinct bolted. Okay. There is a center. And I sense, feel it, sense, experience it here. Not here in my idea. Okay, remember the idea, she's going to push me up. Uh, Katja, I'll bore you again there for a sec. So there is a center here. Okay. And if the center that's here is here, then I ask for some help so I can double check to make sure it's not an idea. If I'm playing the game right, oh, got it? By touching, she knows I'm really deep because the center's deep. She can feel it as soon as she touches me. Boom. It's deep. Okay. Again, if I were to break, if it's somebody twice as strong as Katja, she's pretty strong by the way. Uh, if I were to break, it's not I's business. The game is going on and the center says, oh, you need a better center and it's mixing up. Where's it going? It was still bolted. Where's it going now? It feels like a pillar. It feels like a pillar, a much uh, wider, a uh, lot of cement in that pillar. Boom! It's a pillar. Yeah. <laughs> I'm laughing because the pillar is way around there, so I know she can't push it up because it's under her. Boom! It just is now. Oh, I got to do that. I got to do that under her. It's, it's not the eyes, it's the actual here in this inner sensing center. It's gonna start to break, so let me hit it again. Easy, I open. It's its business to mix up a bit, and it mixes up. Oh yeah, this is deeper. It's deeper. Okay. More easy. My back felt a little vacant. Not my business. I noticed it, but it's not my business to correct. It's the system's business. I open. I let the system mix. Boom. Boom. Huh? And it thickened out back here. So again, uh, the eye can get started, 
but can't keep controlling, critiquing, worrying. Uh, it's not its job, all right? So hopefully when you play, and again, these things we can't just do a few minutes like her, a couple of minutes like I do it. You want to play. Uh, take some time with these things. Uh, give it some time to uh, mix well and show that it's there. And you'll begin to feel the <sighs> offshoot of it. The <sighs> okay. Yeah. Where are we going? Let's see. I'd like to play. Okay, what about dimensionality? We mentioned dimensionality. Uh, okay, uh, some people uh, just came on for the first time. So let's see how to mention dimensionality. Uh, okay, maybe that one. So here's a dimension that uh, Bobby, let's, let's call this guy Bobby. He's at a Bobby level. He's got some energy that mixes up Bobby. Okay. There's another dimension. This picture is wrong. It would really be inner finer, not out there. Inner finer, which will appear bigger. Okay. But it's an inner finer dimension. Inner work, if you would. And the next dimension has finer energies and more. And this amount of energies would then mix up okay, uh, because they're balanced, they would create a better character and it wouldn't be Bobby anymore with this increase of finer energies would mix up Robert who is more capable than Bobby. He moves better than Bobby. He speaks better than Bobby. He thinks different than Bobby. Where Bobby could be horribly negative, uh, Robert would be less so, maybe even a positive thinker, something like that. So the dimensionality is when we make a shift from one level to the, to the next. Okay. Ah, dimensionality. Okay. All right, let's play this game, dimensionality, dimensionality. Okay, we're in a dimension and we'll highlight the hand, okay? Standing. We're in the physical dimension, okay? And there's the hand. Uh, one trick, don't look at the hand, it'll keep us too physical too long. Just feel, feel, feel the hand, okay? Okay, and again, easy, we're still in the physical, but a little more, a little more feeling, easy. Still in physical, but there's more feeling. Feel the hand. Maybe you notice a little difference. I notice, for example, my palm is a little bit warmer, easy. Let's do one more physical dimension, easy. Still in the physical, ah, but Hand should be a little bit more. I, I have a little feeling of better fingertip dexterity, and I see Katya doing the same thing. Yeah? Uh, yeah, my digit seemed to be working. Yeah. Okay. All right, let's call that physical. Take a moment and settle. Settle means inferred opening, easy, or clearing. Uh, easy the eye is part of settling, clearing. Uh, whatever helps you, does breathing help you? Fine. And here we are. We're going to enter with our hand the next dimension. Easy. Don't look at it. Just Sense, feel, feel. This is the next dimension of hand. Easy, hand. Well, I notice it wants to like pulsate. I didn't tell it to do that. I'm just letting it. 
and it it feels like it's pulsating. It's like beating down and up. Okay. Brad, something? So I'm bringing this to him. It's and he's a member. Okay. Brad says his breathing in his arm movement. So even though I just want to play with the hand in another dimension, the rest of the system starting to be drawn into this game. Gotcha, anything worth mentioning? Okay, same thing for Gotcha. She's starting to get support for this arm extension. She's getting support for that. So although I wanted, uh, I wanted, I started the game with just the hand, hand, uh, the rest of the body's getting involved in this dim dimension. So that's what's happening here. Okay, here we go. Uh, we're at level two. One more again. Level two. Don't look, just feel. Or I could say, let the hand feel itself. Level two. Uh, I don't know, it seems to float better. There's a floating sense to it. Again, that same warmth that I picked up earlier is there. Easy, take a break for a moment. Still level two, ah, but a little more presence in level two. Okay, easy, and again, level two plus. Huh, my hand feels, or the arm feels like it's longer in Katja's shaking her head, yes. Ah, it's longer. My, my fingers have that dexterity I had before, but they feel more sensitive at the fingertips. I don't know anything about piano, but I would almost consider practicing the piano now. I have some finger dexterity. It's like they're alive. They have their own energy. That's mine. What's yours? Huh? It's moving on its own. It's really what? It's moving on its own. Oh, it's moving on its own. Yeah, that's why I say, don't look at it and be the control freak. Nothing much is going to happen. Easy. Don't look at it and let it. Let it. It's as if it has its own intelligence or its own desires. It's moving on its own. Yeah. Okay, and rest. Ah, so that was level two. Okay. Easy, relax a bit. Inferred settling and opening. Ah, forget to breathe now and then. Okay. And let's go for level three. Easy, easy. Settled more open. Entering the third dimension. It used to be a hand. What's it up to now? Don't look at it. Just let it feel itself. I have the sense it wants to express itself. It wants to express itself. I don't know, something like it draws things in. It's, it's, it's a come hither kind of flavor. Now, whoa, what does that mean? Let me think about that. No, we're not playing that now. Just whatever. You just get a flavor of come hither. Ah. We'll think about it later. Easy, relax. Level three, level three. Okay. One more time at level three, easy. Ah, this is level three. The hand is free. What kind of hand do you have? Yeah, friendly hand. Attractive hand. The beginning of attractive. I, I, I happen to get a lot of Im imagery, so I'm seeing a hand being used for a glove model. The hand is attractive, and Kutch is nodding her head, yes. 
you're getting the same thing. Yeah. She feels like her hand is bigger, yeah. Uh, so at this level, if you were to grasp a football, you'd have a better grip on the football because there's a sense of your hand is bigger, okay? So I tell the people in Aikido who have small hands, uh, don't worry about it, because as we get into a better dimension in energy, your hands will be bigger. Your hands won't necessarily grow physically bigger, but in energy, they'll be bigger and they'll grab better. So following that, yeah. Okay, level three still, easy, easy. One more time, ah, a little more full. Level three, hand, used to be a hand. What kind of hand? What's it up to now? Let's see. Mine is getting stronger. My background imagery was a nutcracker. <laughs> Crack walnuts, my hand. What else? A sense of capability. This hand feels capable, picks up something capably. Ah, take a break, take a break. Yes. So just playing with the dimensions, using the hand as a reference. Easy, easy, settle down. And it wouldn't surprise me if the bodies are getting more involved, because although I started with just hand and some arm in there, uh, the whole system is starting to be in that dimension. So I'm starting to get activity, like Katya said earlier, supportive for her hand. Uh, Brad was uh, breathing. The breath and the hand, breath, hand, seem to have a re relationship. Uh, that should naturally happen if it's happening. It's okay, good. Ah, settled, open, okay. Inferring a finer level, this is number more dimensions. And that that used to be an arm, really don't look at it. That that used to be an arm, a hand. In dimension four, what is it? What's it up to? Mine feels very long. It's telescoping. And it has a target possibility can hit the target. Um, oh. It has its own accuracy. Uh, this would be a fun level to throw darts <laughs> or paper waste into the waste paper basket. <laughs> Seems to have an accuracy. As I check here, seems to be a lot of calmness, accuracy. Lent, very long. Very long. If I were a boxer, this level is be where comes out fast and it hits the target. I don't have to focus on the target. It hits the target. I remember when I was a martial artist, I used to practice eye strikes. But I had to stop because I got to a level where even if I couldn't see my, my hand would go right to their eyes. And happened accidentally a couple of times where funning around with my buddy, bing, it'd be right in their eyes. And I had to stop practicing because I was hurting my friends. <laughs> but it was interesting that I didn't target, the hand itself target. Even if they're off at a funny angle, bing, it would go right to the spot. Seems to happen for me around what I call level four, okay? We'll finish up on this one, last one, and we'll finish on this easy. <clears throat> and by the way, if you want to practice at home, you got time, you could do level five, level six, whatever. Easy, settle. <clears throat> Open it. Ah, easy, okay. 
into level five. Not an arm anymore. What is it? Level five. Mm -hmm. It's not a hand anymore. What is it? What is it? A lot of examining going on. I don't have the words. I have the feeling, but I'm not sure what words to use. What are your words? That that used to be an arm, hand. What is it in level five? What is it up to? What is it itself experiencing? Well, I'll tell you, if I were in medical, this hand would feel touching a body, would feel things that you couldn't see. It would just sense things. Oh, you've got a problem here, don't you? And a person would respond, yes. Okay. Ah, yeah. Anything to add? You okay. Uh, in the early days, I used to teach uh, energy scanning, energy healing. And uh, remember one time we're at uh, San Francisco Hospital, San Francisco University Hospital, they have such a thing. Huh? No, maybe. UCSF. UC. UCSF, yeah. And I was just teaching them basic energy stuff. And we uh, have everyone touch a body. Their partner would lie down and they'd scan it till they felt something and then go to that spot. And this guy called me over. He said, I keep touching him, his partner, on this spot. Uh, it feels like there's a hole there. And I scanned it, and yeah, felt like a hole there. After the session, the guy who was down there said, oh yeah, they took my kidney out or something, and we felt a hole. <laughs> so at, at level five, you can scan and pick up things really well. Uh, for example, okay. Uh, Level five would be a hell of a good masseur, masseuse, definitely. <sighs> they really get in there to the right spot. Katya, you're picking this up. She's getting her degree in that aspect. Uh, <laughs> you know that already, though, don't you? <laughs> okay, where are we? Bouncing around here a bit. You know, uh, I had a few questions. Uh, and uh, that accumulated here. Um, I'll try to answer them in a way that may bring in or be useful uh, for other people. And see. Oop. Okay, question. David Propen, David. Okay, David says, I would uh, ask whether there's value in winding up to facilitate unwinding. Uh, okay, uh, for the people who came in late, we're talking about how the universe works, the energies. Uh, get heavier and heavier and heavier uh, from their first pure, 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 uh, just in this continuous beat of the creation creating, the creation breathing, it goes from very pure to heavier and heavier and heavier. And here we are in a pretty heavy place. And our eyes got a little small. That's that's what that represents. A small eye in this big thing. Really, the eye is as big as the universe, clear. But boom, we got twisted in, OK? Oh, no. Lost. Damn. OK. Uh, 
Okay, so. Uh, yeah. Uh, one way I would use that is to make clearer the dimensional change. I sometimes would go in tighter so that as I let go and open, it was clearer the next dimension, which is clearer. If I just was on a pretty good day saying, okay, next dimension, at first you might not notice it, okay? But to box yourself in and then open up, uh, yeah. Uh, oh my God, the time, where did it go? I haven't begun yet. Okay, questions. Uh, so, so yeah, uh, Dave, play, play with that. Uh, how it might look like. Uh, oh, and, and David, you play with it. You wind yourself in tighter, flavor that, and then begin opening and unwinding as you open, it'll naturally unwind. And you play with it. That's a good question, but you play with it, okay? Uh, I've played with that in many ways. I was gonna do a one by two by three by game, but damn, time went by. Hang, hang on a second. Uh, okay. Uh, Yoshka, I've had a similar experience with all my walking, hiking. I've turned, attuned uh, my body uh, I've tuned into my body and seems to be developing a better stride. I feel like my hips are powering my stride, which is new. I've felt the urge to elongate along my spine. My lower back feels stronger now. I'm, I've been happy with the progress and I think I've stopped thinking I've reached a better level. But now I can see that I continue to open up and be open to even better levels. Uh, Yoshka, great, great pattern. Uh, and for people listening, uh, not all in one walking experience. Uh, I like to do it uh, one thing each day if I'm walking every day. So one day would be, oh, it's stepping out a bit better. Next day, maybe it's stepping out better and it's striding. Next day, maybe, oh, the back is straightening as I stride out. That seems to help everything. Uh, so, uh, so don't try to get everything all at once. Uh, break it down. And I get the feeling Yoshika did, did that. But that, that sounds like a great, great pattern that happened there. Okay. Danny. Uh, unwinding and the relation to settling. Uh, basically, Danny, it's just a dimensional thing. Let's see if we have any pictures here. Uh, dimensional, dimensional. Uh, maybe that picture will do. Okay, so uh, as you settle, and as you settle, that settling infers a better dimension which infers more room, which infers the energies can flow freer at a better level, they're finer, so they mix up a finer. So settling and uh, unwinding. As you settle more, it unwinds and clears a bit more. It naturally unwinds as you're more settled because more room is there, if you would, and the energy can flow freer in a more balanced way with all of its nutrients and all of that. Uh, okay, so yeah, there is a direct re relationship. Uh, David Cropin. Thank you, Denise. Denise, uh, this is LA Kauai, Denise. Uh, sounds good about the breathing. Uh, so Denise is doing the basic breath pattern as uh, to rep for the energies, uh, male femaleness or the energies balancing using the breath as a reference. And she's talking about suddenly this little 
opening on the inhale. Another one opening on the exhale with a feeling of spaciousness. Uh, Denise, I think it's just trying to shift you into uh, the next dimension, which also sounds like just another, not another page, but the next chapter. So if you would sense yourself uh, in at that opening where you feel the vast space, it shows often like bigger space, a vast space. Sense yourself in that space, keep doing your breathing, but being present in that dimensional space, I'm sure it'll change to instead of you breathing, where it starts to breathe through you, or better words might be, it's breathing you at a whole other level. Okay, so that's what I think is trying to happen there. All right, hang out with it and let me get back to me eventually. Uh, let's do something here. Boom, I think, is that it? Okay, the uh, Yoshka again. I, I just like how, I like how, how, how uh, the words are laid, laid out. Uh, we're talking about at first energy, I think I had a question on energy up and down and somebody saying, uh, 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 who was that? Anyway, somebody asked about up and down energies, but they weren't picking up the spiral energies yet. Uh, you gotta learn how this game works. Play with where you're at comfortably. Play with up and down and then do what, whatever, a fuller up and down. Make sure you're open so it's a wider up and down. Uh, a little dimensional sense there, of, and the up is finer and the down is equally finer. If it eventually shows it spirals, then so be it. But don't you, in an up and down, trying to get to the spiral. If you're not there, you're not there. That's quite all right. Play it where you're at, okay? Uh, that's why we have to be careful of talking about too much advanced stuff. People don't want to feel, nah, uh, uh, I'm not on your case. I'm just talking about human condition. The human condition, uh, a lot of people want to get there, get there, instead of, no, be here. Be here better, be here fuller, and here is eventually there. That's why oh, since I said, don't go anywhere, it's here. It's dimensionally finer through here. Don't go over there. Don't go to heaven. Heaven is here. If you open and open and open and open, finer and finer and finer, it's here. Okay? But in the human condition, a lot of people don't want to feel A fully, B will naturally happen. If they experience B fully, C will naturally open and be there. Uh, but the human conditions, like we have no patience. Okay, I understand A, I don't want to do A anymore. I want to do B. No, 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 no. Start with where you start. Later, yes, you'll probably get faster. I shouldn't even be telling you this. Later, you can zip through really fast. I can get really fast. But don't worry about that. Get full in your A. Full A should naturally lead to B. If it doesn't continue with the fullness of A, maybe you miss something in the A. Flavor it better. When it's balanced flavoring itself, it should naturally move into the next of itself. Okay? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm tighter. That one. Hang on a sec. Okay. So that's the same with playing a bowed musical instrument. First, you learn to draw the bow in a straight line. Once you reach a higher level, you realize, see the higher level realizes, it has its own insight, or, I love the way this is worded. Or learn that every great musician, so you either 
learn something or you experience it. I like that wording. Uh, once you reach a higher level, you realize or learn that every great musician always draw the bow in a circular motion. One could say that there are no straight lines in making music. Interesting to hear you say that about straight lines and spiritual lines. And then I like what uh, Kawaii Denise kicked back. Yoshika, that is just beautiful. I like that. Okay, Dusty. Dusty, uh, you talked about uh, uh, the male female streams, uh, feel, feels like it's going up or down. Uh, as you progress with up and down, uh, they, uh, you may be hinting that the up is going into the down and the down is going into the up. That's probably the next way it'll, it'll show, showing a more balanced equality. And there's more after that. Hang out with that for a while, we'll see. Okay, true. I think that's it. Ah, sorry, the hour went by so fast. I, 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 ah, ah, a couple of games I wanted to play with you. Uh, but anyway, if we touched on anything like that, the hand game, you know, play it on your own. Play the game. Hand one, feel what you can feel. You can repeat it. Hand one, a little more aware. Okay, got it. You feel. Feel the texture, feel uh, what the hand is capable of. Don't think about the hand. F the hand is feeling itself. Listen to what it's saying about itself. Listen to what it's doing, why it's doing it, and then settle a bit and then hit level two. Uh, you play, you play, you play, okay? Uh, the spiraling in, spiraling out. That's a great game. I've done it in a lot of ways. Uh, okay, real quick story. I had a group in LA, uh, mainly therapists, and one game they loved. I would tighten them in uh, med mentally. And as they got tighter and tighter, they would get into their own style of crazy, which they would recognize, by the way. <laughs> and then, of course, they knew how to unwind and get back to... Ah, good norm. But that tightening them in so they could experience their kind of crazy. They thought that was so great. They loved that game. And they all recognized their own style of crazy. <laughs> so, yeah, there are different forms of tightening in, opening up. So, good, good call. Play with it. Ah. My hour's up. Uh, Moon, you, you there? Somebody we there. are here. We're here. Oh, I am. I am. Okay. Uh, take a uh, break or do you want to? It's up to you uh, completely. If we're going to have questions, can we do it fast? Like you guys need five minutes, just five. It's, it's completely up to you, Bob. I think. Yeah. That, uh, yeah. I, I, I don't want to do this long gap. Uh, five minutes. Break, break? Five minutes. Five minutes it is. We'll be here when you get back on your timing. Okay. Here. Anything? Bob. Yeah. Anything up? Well, there were questions about um, whether or not this practice has uh, replaced meditation for you. Uh, okay. What do I do in meditation? Inner finer, and then, uh, yes, yeah, inner finer, and then uh, I sense how the universe works, how creation started. Uh, I check uh, the main piece there, which is truer self. Who am I really? I start with I, of course. In the easing, in the opening, in the settling, the I that's there gets to show itself. I get to experience myself. 
So that's meditation for me, that self-experiencing itself. And in experiencing itself, it can experience itself at different uh, dimensions of creation and experience its mission, experience uh, its desire to return back to even more original of itself. So that to me is meditation. And uh, I don't, yeah, kind of, I don't do it as formal a certain way, but I, I do it. Yes. Inner, inner there, was, there was a question also about, um, as you spoke about the energy in the arm and whatnot, someone was saying, well, there was also in the physical realm, a, a change as well. I wonder if you want to address the connection or if there's anything you'd care to say about that. Yeah. I, I used to think of that like a tear, a little tear in a sheet, bed sheet. Yes. You with me so far? Okay. Now, <laughs> if you've had my experience and you don't take care of the little tear in the bed sheet, it suddenly gets bigger and bigger and bigger until the whole sheet is ripped. That's sort of what we did. I stuck your arm into this little tear into another dimension. And as you begin to feel it, the opening sort of expanded and you were in it. So of course the bodies were starting to kick into play to support this and more base to support this and recognition that, oh, that movement in my heartbeat or my breathing are the same or did I, of, of course that was gonna happen. Uh, if I start with an outward visual of a finer dimension and play with that dimension in a visual out there, it won't take too long before that that was out there is closer and that that was out there is all around me and I'm in it. So is that, did I say that good enough? I'm not sure if, if uh... I can't even see who that was from. If you answered their question, I think it certainly opens the doorway to some exploration for us. I guess I'd wonder at this point, you know, in your travels, have you had any resonance in the Aikido world with the direction you're going? Uh, it seems to me in my experience with you that you're, you know, kind of incredibly unique. I know there are a lot of teachers I haven't met and all that. You know, but just of what I've seen, I wonder if you have, who you've had resonance with, what? Yeah, uh, I'm, I, I'm not on the Aikido chit chat list. Uh, so I don't know what other people are doing. Uh, if they call me and talk to me, then I know where, where they're at. Uh, I also don't want to talk about people I don't know about where they're at what level they're at, what they're doing. Uh, not, not really. I do what I do. And if other people are doing good work, great for them. Yay, yay, yay. Uh, so there's, uh, I don't know in the Aikido world, but uh, uh, there's got to be some good work going on. But in other things, I, I wanted to mention, uh, uh, ah, different story. Uh, yeah, uh, just hoping other people are also doing good work. And if I hear about it and see that's obvious to me, it's good work. I'm, I'm happy. Uh, it's not, it's like when we come into the human condition, oftentimes there's a bit of a grouping so that other people are teaching something similar their own way to bolster each other, it's a, it's a movement. It's not like one guy jumps into uh, the earth realm with a message. Usually there's pre-messengers before him and there's also a little group that is trying to give a similar message using different words or a different uh, lineage of layout. Is that, is that okay, did I say that right? Uh, but asking me who in Aikido is doing great work. I haven't the foggiest. I haven't heard anything I, much. Doesn't mean anything, but I'm not in touch. Yeah. Encountered anyone. But there is a question about um, an exercise you did about scanning and they're asking about 
uh, if you want to say anything to healing, and I'm not clear if the question is about self-healing okay. or people who help heal others. Self-healing. Ah, well, scan. If you're going to practice scanning, it seems like the left hand is more sensitive for scanning, and the right hand is more on the positive side for uh, letting positive energies flow through to to remind their energy system to perk up. So it's not like I give them energy as much as I get to a level within them uh, and sort of remind those energies, hey, you're at a finer dimension, do something here, you know? Uh, so left for scanning, right for healing, self-healing. Uh, with that, look, look, you hurt yourself and you grab it. Oh, I hurt myself. What are you doing? You're self-healing. You're trying to get some energy to flow into there. Okay. Uh, uh, so there is an ability of, of some self-healing. I would suggest also that you, if your body is aching, that you get to a finer dimension where the energies are flowing better. And that could hopefully then pervade out through into the heavier to quicken your uh, healing process. Uh, okay, so I tell a story of uh, uh, my water heater, something blew up <laughs> and my hand was there and I got burned bad uh, or fairly bad and it hurt like hell. And the last thing I wanted to do was to call up, to open up the, for energy to flow through it. Because uh, when I first did that, it hurt more. So I didn't want to do it. Okay? But knowing how it worked, settle and open to a finer dimension of energy flow. And the energy flows through that, and it healed really fast. Okay. We had multiple stories back in the day when Aikido students would uh, break their arm skiing. Got that skiing. And they would let some energy flow. And I heard more than once, there was at least a few, of people who had broken an arm doing whatever, uh, and the doctor, and playing with a little bit of energy flow, we used to do a lot of that in the old days, and the doctor's uh, saying, my God, your bone is healing fast. I've never seen a bone heal that fast. And it's like, of course, the finer level of energy flow will work through into the heavier and affect it. Uh, is that a self-healing? I guess we could call it that. Uh, but uh, yeah, we used to get a lot of re reports about what the doctor said. They were always surprised and amazed. Well, uh, I, we could probably do a whole book on self-healing. Uh, it's not my major, so, uh, but if somebody were interested, I wouldn't mind guiding them along if they were into that business uh, and, and, and see where my sensing of things could help them lay this out in their field with their book, <laughs> okay? I say I'm limited with how many things, there's a lot of things I'd like to play with, uh, but I, I just, uh, I don't have the time. So I'd like to throw them out uh, to people who have the interest, the time, and the intelligentsia, the capability of, of working in that area. Uh, I don't know if I want to give any examples now. Well, I mentioned a couple of classes uh, about children. So for example, uh, being centered. Uh, I think that's a great practice in children's class. Teach them to be like a tree, meaning be centered. And uh, to the point where you could say to a class of kids, a tree, and they'd all click, and they'd be more centered. And they'd be calmer, they'd be more present, it wouldn't be as crazy. Uh, and you check their tree by trying to lift them. They love it. The little kids, when you can't lift them, and only little kids, we're not talking 14-year-olds here, we're talking five, to six, seven years, and you lift them, and they treat, they center, and suddenly, oh, my God, you can't lift them. They love it, okay? And they can, after a while, treat, and they're instantly better centered. Uh, I think stuff like that should be taught to kids. And that's one of the many games that, that can be taught to kids. Okay? 
but I don't teach kids now. Uh, so somebody else will have to carry this on. Yeah? Good, good. Well, I have, um, you know, we don't want to keep you too long either, but I have two directions I'd offer you if either one of them interests you to speak about. And one is I wonder if you have any stories we learned from these stories about how you took such a unique direction and what it is that helped take you into such an interesting study. And the other direction, if which you either if either seems appropriate, um, is I'm always curious, you know, you've always done such an internal study and you've always shown us this pathway of you in process. And every now and then I kind of wonder, you know, is there any message you have for us as a community? Is there anything, I guess you just gave us a little hint there, but is there anything you'd like to say to the community at large besides sharing your process with us? We're, we're not sure about your question. We're a little, huh? Did you um, say it again yeah, short? I, I put it there's, if there are things that, you know, in your mind sometimes you would like to share with the community that you don't get time to in terms of um, besides the specifics of how we work on ourselves what you would like to see what you uh, would like to see us take away from this time just the next uh, level of that uh, and I, I'm just what, offering what, uh, I, I sort of don't under, understand the question because it's like play with what we're laying out and you play with it. If I say there's an eye uh, that makes up stories and goes round and round and is a critiquer and wants to look at everything, that's an eye. Okay, easy. And you come into more self and self has a better chance for experiencing, for sensing, uh, has a different view because it's a self, not an eye. Uh, do something with it. Do it. Play with it. Thank you. And on and on and on. Yeah. Well, I, I just I was just uh, looking in the sense that there are no more questions. Is there anything you'd okay. like to address at this point? Uh, if there are no questions, I have I have nothing more to say except God. That hour went by too fast. I'll try to lay out next week better so we can. <laughs>